Hello, beautiful human beings of the internet. I'm Lauren Elizabeth, and it's a fuck day. I could have sang that so much better, I swear. Beep. <laughs> Today, I wanted to get in the vlog spirit. The vlog spirit? The fall spirit! I look like a freaking pumpkin spice latte right now. I'm absolutely obsessed with what I'm wearing. It's like this little matching set. I mean, you guys know I love a good matching set. It's so soft, also something I love. Super cute little set from Princess Polly. I love the knit shorts, oh my god. I got my, um, I wrote a blog post about getting my hair treatment. This is how my hair air dried. You guys believe it? Normally have to do my hair for it to look like this. Today's video is obviously a daily vlog and it's obviously about fall. I have been doing so much fall shopping. I don't know why I'm getting so into fall. I get into fall every year, who am I kidding? I was thinking this morning, I was like, is it like lame that I'm 25 and I get into fall and then I realized I'm actually preparing to be the most amazing mom Ever. I mean, when you have kids, you're gonna have to decorate and do Halloween and stuff. So it's like, I'm just this little Susie homemaker, 25, just doing it for the dogs. And one day I'll be an awesome mom. Can you just chill? Like seriously, chill. So like I said, I've been shopping so much. I have a ton of clothes I wanna show you guys really quick because this video is sponsored by Princess Polly. And I'm so excited because I'm always looking for a great online shop and affordable clothing that's super, super trendy and stylish. I'm always obviously looking for those things too to share with you guys. I feel like you guys definitely know Princess Polly. They also have free express shipping on orders over $50, which is two days. So everything came really fast too. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of new fall stuff today, starting with clothes. I've literally been out of control. I've been online shopping like a crazy person. So everything you're seeing is going to be from Princess Polly. And I obviously have a code for you guys because today's video is in partnership with Princess Polly. The code is Lauren and you can get 20% off site wide. So I'll put it in the description box. You guys have to get shopping. They have so much cute stuff. I got this so, so, so cute slip dress. You guys know I love wearing slip dresses. I wear them all the time, summer, winter, fall. You can never have too many because also they're great for layering. The cut at the top of this one is absolutely perfect. And it's just this black midi length black slip dress, which I weirdly don't have one. So I was super excited. And it also has like a subtle print. Then I'm obsessed with this button ribbed cardigan trend right now. And so basically what you do is like you kind of like unbutton a few at the top, unbutton a few at the bottom, and then you show a little bit of skin, wear it with jeans. This is such a good material. It's like totally my fall style, which is just like simple and elevated basics. But this is like seriously like really in right now, like the whole like button up thing. But this is like a nice durable material. These I thought were so fun. I can't wait to wear them. I'm just like finally at this point in my life where I just like wear whatever I want and I don't care and I was like these are so cute I can't wait to style them how amazing you guys know this literally matches my rug that's right there I love this print obviously it's like zebra but it's not the color of a zebra unless there are zebras that are this color corduroy pants that have this zebra print on them and I would actually love to wear this with just like a band tee oh wait actually I do have this that's really cute that I got from Princess Polly. I absolutely love this. This is like, if I were to design a graphic tee, this is what it would look like. It's just absolutely perfect. Then it has something on the back. So I would honestly wear this together and just do like a cool like night out, like going to a concert. Just trying to be a cool girl. Oh, then I got this, which is absolutely so cute. You guys know I always need tops. I never have tops, which is why I'm so glad I already have three that I showed you. How freaking cute is this? Are you kidding me? Once again, totally one of my staple colors for fall so cute in the front so excited to wear this out which is a little pair of jeans then I got this little dress because I like wearing white in fall whoever said you can't wear white after Labor Day who are they I don't even care if there is a valid reason behind it I'm, it's 2019 we can all wear whatever we want I love fall whites and I think you can layer them with other different neutral colors that make it look like even more call fall like you know like kind of a color palette like literally me right now and I just love the shape of this dress and I love the details on it and I thought it was super cute oh and then this one is so cute look at the details and the fit of this this little leopard mini dress with the cutest sleeves ever so comfortable you best believe I'm wearing this with a leather jacket I mean literally like this is like me in a nutshell like neutral Neutral, fall, neutral. I like it and I like my style. So, uh -huh. so make sure you guys head on over to Princess Polly and shop till you drop with my code Lauren for 20% off. The stuff is absolutely amazing. I think you guys will really, really like it. So, also going to go 
put some fall decorations out because this is the first time I'm decorating not in my old apartment. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do for Christmas, but we're not even there yet. I think I have a few ideas that I wanna do for fall. I feel like my house is already really, really neutral, so it looks really good for fall. I might get rid of these pink pillows. I'll show you guys. These are my UV glasses and it makes it look really weird. I'm getting construction done right now too, which is really, really annoying. I might get rid of, please let me know in the comments what you think. The pink and the pink, this is not what the couch looks like, obviously, but we always put blankets down when we like snuggle and watch movies and stuff on the couch. You can see there's just blankets everywhere. But I don't know, I just feel like the pink, we also might be switching that because Hudson made something else that's really, really big that's even more neutral, even though I love that piece. And then, I don't know, I mean, I love the pink, I think they're neutral, but I feel like it might look good with something like darker to kind of like tie in some of the darkness. I also might be getting a new rug that's even darker because this one just ended up shedding a lot more than I thought. It weirdly like, right when I got pushed to the edge, stopped shedding. So I don't really know what's going on. But I wanna do a Target haul for you guys of decorations and start decorating, so. Dun, da, da, da. We have some things to discuss. Oh my God. I dropped the pumpkin when I was getting out of the car and I was like, that's so crazy, it's fine. It's totally cracked, like really bad. And it's all my fault. I guess I can just turn it, but then it's kind of dirty on this side. Gosh darn it, I told you I, I drop things all the time. Okay, so obviously I got this pumpkin, which I thought was like the perfect pumpkin. I'm gonna get also get some real pumpkins too from the grocery store. Then I got one of these ones times two. I got these little salt and pepper shakers that are just gold little pumpkins that I wanted to put with these pumpkins, but now I kind of want to use them as salt and pepper shakers, so I'm not sure yet. I thought this was really cute for either either the coffee table or the dining room table. It's like this little garland of pumpkins. They do hold candles, so to, you can put like three candles in there but I just thought it was really cute. Please excuse my broken nails. We always know I have broken nails. I thought I had a skull, but I guess I didn't. So I wanted to get a black one because a lot of the like accessories in my house are black. So I thought that would look really good somewhere. This actually might look good on the coffee table. I was gonna put it with the pumpkins. This is why, That's why we don't know. Then I got a few little candle holder stick things that are also black because it'll match, like I said, everything else. The candles, dog treats. Do you want this? Oh my god, I forgot to take this out of the cart. I got this huge pumpkin spice candle. I'm basic, okay? So I got this huge pumpkin spice candle, but then I found these other candles, so I was gonna put this one away. I got a dog mat, because I don't have a mat for the water bowl, so it gets everywhere, and we always knock it over. Magnolia, isn't it those people that have a show or something? This one is Harvest. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's like kind of a mix between Christmas and Thanksgiving. That's one of the best things about this time of year is the smells and the food. Then I got Fireside. Oh my God, and these are actually like cute containers. So I was excited about that. Whereas this one's like, I'm super basic, but a little cute. Then I got two more dog treats, but I don't want them to know. We're doing something crazy. So as you can see, I have all these gray, curtains and these ones are actually a different color the main ones than the two on here and these ones are very like very dull very neutral like very washed out gray whereas those ones are very blue gray to me because like when i look at it i'm like oh and that's from last year the wreath that i kept on my apartment door what i'm going to do is i had a revelation which is also why i need a new carpet because i can't have everything in here be white that's like psychotic i was just like wait a second we literally keep the blinds open all day we love the light coming in we only close them when it's dark out there's no sign of anyway why don't i just do white curtains i just i don't know i thought it would look nicer these, these gray ones have just been driving me crazy so i think we're gonna try and change it but i got them with like a little bit of like texture I mean, from far away, obviously, they just look white, but, like, they have texture. And so I got two of those. We're going to do pumpkins, and we're going to do curtains. Which one do we do first? Probably pumpkins. It's easier. Let's see. So this is where I was thinking of doing a pumpkin situation because I have nothing in my fireplace. And I don't know. It's like, where else would I really put pumpkins? Like, technically, like, you could do something on an entry table like that but it's like least decorated worst part of my entire house 
And then it's like, I already have like a dining room table situation. I'll probably add a little bit of pumpkin to you. And it's also a mess because, here I'll show you the construction. We're getting the air conditioning replaced. So I think it'll look good right there. I mean, look at them already that close. Like it'll look nice, let's try. So what I was thinking is doing this. It's a candle. Oh my God, it's a goddamn candle. Oh my God, you guys. It's a bleeding candle. It bleeds through his skull. What the heck? Oh my God, there's holes. Okay, I think it's too spread out. So this is what I'm working with, but it's definitely like too spread out. It needs to be more, like there's there's something missing. I might add a vase, some vases or something. Uh, let's figure it out. Let's see, this is before. Okay, is this any better? I feel like it definitely is better than what it was. I just don't know if it's great. Should I put the candles in? Let's see what it looks like from far away. Let's see, this is like my view, you know? It's not horrible, actually. Like, it's pretty cute. It's not too cluttered. It has a little bit of balance. I'm kind of into it. Okay, so this is what it looks like now with the candles. I think it's fine for now. I don't think it's, I can't decide if it's like not enough or if it's like just right. I think it's okay. I think we're good. I'm not positive. But we're gonna leave it like that for now, faux show. Oh. I just got so inspired from hanging up the drapes, which, hold on, I'll show you, to <laughs> clean this up and hang up the mirror. Look, I finally, I cleared this all off. I haven't done this since I moved in. This is insane cleared everything out of here and I just hung this. I don't know why I've been waiting for my brother to do it. When I was a strong, independent woman and I could do it myself. And I actually did a pretty good job. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's just crazy like how much bigger this area looks once you get the mirror off the table. It like, it. now we have a legitimate entryway where we can actually have people take off their shoes, maybe put a candle here. I wanna see if there. I have any leftover decor because sometimes I start stacking things up when I don't have anywhere to put it So I'm gonna see if I can like do something right here to make it look cute, but Wow It's crazy how I said I didn't have counter space right here and now I do I honestly think this is looking like pretty good And then I'm gonna vacuum because I got everything really dirty But this is kind of like I'll show you guys maybe more at nighttime When the Sun's not shining in because on camera it obviously looks weird, but I definitely think I need to keep these the way they are. And this is actually just like kind of a ni nice white wall. We'll see what everyone thinks. It, it looks better in person. It's just weird because of the way the sunlight's hitting right now. Okay, I just did went on a cleaning spree and vacuumed. And then these have also grown on me. I kind of opened them a little bit. I think they look really nice. I also forgot I got this new pillow but I don't know if it's gonna be for the chair or for the couch. So I just put it there for now. Put one candle there. The dogs were out of control and they finally calmed down. I don't feel like fixing the couch because we're probably just gonna stay in tonight anyway. This also, I just cleaned with it, is absolutely amazing. It smells like fall and you know what this video is all about fall. See, it's looking cute, it's looking cute. Maybe I should like get rid of some of the stuff on top. Maybe that's what I'll put over there. Now with the pumpkins there, I kinda wanna clean the top. Oh God, I'm going insane. Then I added, Still construction going on. The little pumpkins right there to my usual vase thing. And I think that actually looks really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the candles, but I mean, clearly everything's empty, so it's fine. Maybe I'll like get like Halloween candy and like put it around or something. My brother's art, which matches the theme of the video. I also got the hand soap, love that. And then we also got out the pumpkin pot that I've had for the past couple years. These from Crate and Barrel that I've had for the past couple years. Totally forgot to get candy, but another pumpkin. So it's a little pumpkin out in here. I do still really want to go to Crate and Barrel, even though I feel like I have enough Halloween, like I have enough fall decorations because you never want to go too crazy for fall unless you literally do have children, but it's kind of like, what's the point? Christmas is way better. But I actually like really am into this. I think I just need to clean the top. Back at it again with getting inspired. Boom, fixed it. Okay, so now it looks a little heavy on that side, especially with the black, so I might have to switch him to that side, scoot some things over, but this definitely like has a nicer flow to it, which also means 
that now we had something to work with over here. I mean, I mean it's kind of cool that it looks color blocked, which I really like. I like organizing things by color. Um, but like I guess like this isn't perfect and I don't love that there, but we'll figure it out. We're getting there. Every clip we get better and better. But I think that looks really good. And then as the sun goes down, it's getting nicer and nicer with the white. I don't know why I got so tired. I think it was just like I was like running around doing all this stuff. I might go get a salad. Only can go get a salad from Sweet Green if I'm physically the one getting it. Like I need to supervise the making of this salad because it is so hit and miss and I'm so over it. And every time I go, I come home with a story. I'm like, this guy, because people that go to Sweet Green, they just like don't understand life and like how it works. And it's just like, that's first world problem, obviously. And then I'm gonna go get some happy hour drinks with um, a girlfriend, a girl internet friend, Emma. She has an amazing Instagram, and we met at Revolve Festival. She also came to my XLE event when she was in town last. She lives in Canada, but she travels all the time. I don't know how girls like her do it. I know so many fashion girls that are always just like on a plane. Insane. So I'm probably gonna do my easy 10 minute makeup routine so that I can like chill for a little bit longer. Um, it's on IGTV. It was just like so quick and so easy that, and I talked about it on Instagram, so I figured I'd throw it up on IGTV so you guys should go watch. It's like super fun, super easy. I really like the way it looks and it's how I've done my makeup the past two sit down videos. And Nugget's just being a cutie. So I'm probably gonna take a quick chill break because I've been working on my phone. I have so much to do, so much XLE stuff to do, it's crazy. Um, and then cleaning the house was just exhausting. Hello, there was a long pause because I'm me and I forgot to continue vlogging. Well, I didn't forget, it was like, it was actually a pretty conscious choice on my part. I was like, I gotta get ready, I gotta do all this stuff and then when the weekend hits, I just, oh hello. Hi everybody. Hi. When the weekend hits, I just, I don't vlog because I just, I, you know, whatever. Three nails. One, two, three. These ones are not fake. They're actually my nails. So then she puts tips on the other ones and then it's hard gel. It's not dip. It's like in like a little like thing. And it, I don't know. Everyone always asks about my nails. Anyway, so we had an amazing weekend. It's now Monday. I just like could not be stopped. Like every time I was like, I don't know, maybe I'll like go fix whatever. I just like kept doing it. And then when I was telling you guys about the pillows, I went and I got new pillows. So I basically redid the whole living room and dining room and cleaned a bunch. But then my house gets cleaned on Tuesday, so Monday I don't really tidy up as much because someone's coming to clean anyway. And I went to the farmer's market yesterday. I got really, really pretty flowers. I don't love like orange and like yellow colors, which is why I do like the white pumpkins and stuff. But I did get like the smallest amount of orange flowers ever. And there was a really, really cute bouquet, but I gave it to uh, my boyfriend's mom instead of keeping it, even though it was really, really gorgeous and I wanted to keep it. So these are the new pillows. I'll show you guys what they look like. It made such a difference. Like I just feel like the house looks so much nicer with these pillows. Like see how everything's black and white and tan. Like here, there, there. I showed you guys that I got rid of the books. Um, and now we have this and I think these pillows look so nice. I don't know if they're the same brand. Let's actually check really quick. It's this store um, that's attached to American Rag. That's the brand of pillow. They're really, really, really nice. They're absolutely perfect for the couch and everything. And you can see what the white couch looks like with all the blankets off of it. Then might get a couple more pillows, switch it up a little bit. And then obviously I was like lighting my candles all weekend. I did this with the little pumpkin spice pine cones here. And then these pine cones, I found a black thing in my pantry that matches perfectly. These are some of the flowers from the farmer's market. Those are flowers from the farmer's market. And then the pumpkins and everything. Kitchen is a mess. Don't look at the kitchen. The air conditioning is done, thank God. After spending the day like cleaning and everything and just making it so nice, I went out to drinks and then Saturday, I went vintage shopping and was out till probably around like three o'clock. 
went to Whole Foods, got stuff to make sandwiches and just other snacks. So it was like, I had all the food in the house and it was like fresh and it just feels so much better than ordering delivery sometimes because you just have like more options too. Like when you order delivery, it's like you don't want to go overboard, but when you're at home and your fridge is stocked and you have snacks, it's like you can just keep eating and eating and eating. So I had like two sandwiches, I had hummus, I had fruit, I had chips, like I just had the best time and I've come to the conclusion that Saturday is so much better than Sunday. Hear me out. Friday is technically a work day. And like, yes, you get to go out on Friday night, but you still have to work on Friday. Then Sunday, you get like the Sunday scaries and you know that tomorrow is Monday, but Saturday is this perfect day in between the two out of all three days of your weekend where it's like, you can sit and relax and do nothing and feel so good knowing because tomorrow's Sunday. So it's not like you're like, oh, but okay, I need to get ready for the week. Like Saturday is just the best day in the world. I just, I realized that the past two weekends, because the past two weekends, I've let myself just actually go out, do a couple things, and then sit in the clean living room, have my snacks, watch TV. I've had the best two Saturdays the past two weekends because sometimes you just like need to spend time with yourself. If I don't have a day where I'm alone for at least a few hours, like I don't need to be alone all day and night. I'll probably get a little bit bored. And obviously I live with my brother. So like when he's home, I'm not actually alone. If I don't have a few hours by myself where there's like nothing I need to be doing. Because even if you're like taking time to relax, but you have something to do later, it's like still is kind of in the back of your mind. If I have those few hours, and just and everything's clean and like there's candles lit and it's just oh my god it's the best feeling in the world so i was so glad that i did all like the target run and everything on friday because even i had we had a few friends over on saturday night just to chill and hang out and relax and everyone walked in and was oh my god lauren your house looks so nice like everything's so clean it's so fall the pillows look so good and keep in mind it was also majority of our guy friends and they were also saying and this is something important so Cameron lives with two of his guy friends Graham and Sam and they all walked in and they were like oh my god your your house your house your house and they were like Lauren you never finished helping us with our house and I was like first of all I completely helped you I got you rugs I got you a coffee table I told you where to put everything I went over there the other day and I was like I didn't say anything but they brought it up later but in my head I was like oh my god what has happened to this apartment like this is disgusting they were like you need to come over you need to help us you need to fix it like it was a disaster they're like you can vlog like why don't you just do a video like redoing my boyfriend's apart apartment and I was like wait that's actually a really good idea and also they're all such funny guys so if you guys want to see obviously you guys see me in my house all the time but if you want to see how I go in and I help other people because everyone texts me they're like can you help me with a coffee table what should I get like what should I put on this bookshelf like how do I organize this so I'm always helping my friends in real life and they said I could vlog it and their apartment needs serious work maybe it'll help you girls that have boyfriends that are disgusting as well that was harsh okay I take it back mostly I just don't want that to get back to my boyfriend so let me know if you guys want me to vlog that because I totally will because I have to do it anyway because they need serious help I don't know how I got on that sidetrack oh so like the apartment the house is amazing but yeah, so it's like super fall in here. I think for my next fall log installment, maybe we'll do some fall cooking with Lauren. Um, I have the best turkey chili recipe and the best vegan pumpkin bread recipe. Then I also love cooking stuff for like football snacks. I do this really great buffalo chicken dip that like literally is to die for. It's nothing like that I invented obviously, but I do it a certain way and it's so, so, so good. Monday is always a weird day for me because I have therapy at night. So I'm like thinking about that all day. I have my cleaning lady comps on Tuesday. So like the house kind of like goes to shit on Monday. So basically what I do now is I kind of like go through, I have a really, really crazy week and I just kind of get together with my assistant and we just like go through everything, like figure out everything for the week get the stuff done we need to get done. And then she leaves a little bit earlier because I have to go to therapy. So today is kind of just like a get your shit together day. You'd think since my house looks so nice at the beginning of this vlog, it would still look like that, but it just, I don't know what it is about living in a house as opposed to an apartment. It gets so much, so much dirtier, so much faster. It drives me nuts. So if I ever live in a house bigger than this, which hopefully fingers crossed one day I can do, I don't know how I'm going to keep it clean. And if I have children, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if my OCD can handle children. So that is it for this vlog. I know I didn't take any questions from you guys. This vlog, and I usually try to answer some questions, but also I feel like that takes up a lot of time, and I don't know if you guys like long or short vlogs, so let me know that too. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for even more updates and details, even more details on Lauren Elizabeth. Inc. I linked everything that I talked about in the description box below. Bye okay, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I will see you in just a little bit. Make sure to subscribe. Bye.